prominent British philosopher, moving on, and writer, has claimed that young women would rather change gender than say that they are lesbian. So Kathleen Stock is founding a group that intends to champion UK women who are same sex attracted. Now, she resigned from her role as a University of Sussex professor following significant backlash to her belief that biological sex is fixed. And the highly controversial Tavistock Clinic, which provided a gender identity development service, is closing shortly. I'm joined now by Kate Harris, who is the co-founder of the LGB Alliance. Look, Kate, thank you very, very much. This is something that I know a lot of people have been talking about for a very long time, which is instead of maybe just taking a bit of time to figure out that people are either gay or lesbian, instead they are changing their physical form at a young age and that is pretty bad for the kids yeah it's uh, it's it's brilliant that kathleen stock and julie biddle have formed a new organization today called uh, the lesbian project but she's right i mean if you were uh, first of all let's say to all young lesbians out there being a lesbian is fabulous you can have a wonderful life the trouble is that there's so much confusion now about what is a lesbian and what does it mean to be a lesbian. Uh, if, if I was a kid now at school, I would 100% be saying, oh, I think I have been in the wrong body. I think I'm a boy. I want trans. And we have so many kids who come to us. Um, one particularly sad case was a student who had been bullied at school from uh, the age of 10 because she had short hair, she loved sports, she didn't do girly things. And every single one of her friends and, and uh, people at school said, you're trans, you're definitely trans. And she said, she, she, she said to us, she is waiting until she has an independent life. She's finished university. She's got her own flat. She's got her own income. She's waiting to come out to be a lesbian then because nobody can bully her. <clears throat> I, sorry, I mean, there's, uh, I was absolutely gripped by what you had to say there, and there's so many questions running through my mind. I'm going to just drill down, if it's possible, okay, to yeah. talk about... Oh, you said that if you think you were growing up now, and you yes. were in school now, so at the age of 13 or something along those lines, do you think that you would have taken steps to transition and whatever that would have meant, so whether or not that was surgery or oh, yes. Uh, yes. hormone blockers or, or whatever? Patrick. Mm. I mean, it's it's so interesting. I've been reading Time to Think, Hannah Barnes' book about the scandal at the Tavistock. <laughs> Unf unfortunately, I fit most of the categories of the kids who turn up for gender identity services. So I'm 100% sure I would have said uh, I wanted to be a boy. I was very lonely. I was very vulnerable. I dressed in my brother's clothes. Uh, in sports, I was put to when the class was divided. Uh, my teacher, Miss Higgins, called out, Girls over there, boys and Catherine Harris over there. So uh, it, it would be inevitable now that a very helpful teacher would take me to one side and say, you do know, Kate, that some children are born in the wrong body. Mm. And I would have looked at the attention, the love, stunning and brave, 100%. Yeah. And this takes us to the heart of the problem, Patrick, which is that at the moment, children like me are being fed a dangerous lie. Mm. We wouldn't say to children, you can fly, go and jump mm. off that roof. But we do mm. say to them, you can change sex. And that to me is the cruelest lie. And that leads to the situation where kids who are just gender non-conforming end up mm. thinking that the solution to all their problems will be to change sex. It's dangerous and it should stop really as soon as possible. Miriam Cates has asked for an inquiry mm. into what kids are taught at school. It's not just about sex education. It's through schools now. Many children are growing up to believe that everyone has a gender identity, and that well, leads to a basic confusion. Yeah, I, I wonder as well. I'm becoming increasingly inquisitive about the idea of this kind of Munchausen by proxy situation as well, with parents potentially thinking, yeah. well, actually, yeah. my child you know, it, 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 well, living their own intention-seeking fantasies, essentially, through their own kids. Like, look how special and unique my child is. They've been born into their own body. I think there's a bit of that going around as well. I think that's true, and I think it's, it's incredibly worrying. But that's why we need a full inquiry. We've got the CAS inquiry now into the scandal at the Tavistock, and that has been huge. We're leading the world. You know, the United Kingdom is often called Turf Island, and I'm <laughs> proud of that. 
because we're the first country in the world to stand up and say, gender identity theory is nonsense. It's a cult belief. It is not facts. DFE says we should teach facts in school. If there are parents who've got Munchausen by proxy, let's challenge them, because what matters first is child safeguarding. This mm. is a safeguarding issue. And, and I, I want there to be an inquiry into what's going on in schools across all subjects, because at the moment, I think our education system is positively dangerous for all children. Okay. And we, we are told of whole groups of girls now who say, I'm non-binary, I'm pansexual, I'm gender fluid. Yeah. You know, just leave these children alone to be whatever they want to be. Yeah, it, it is It is a bit bonkers. Some of the, you know, TikTok or YouTube explainers that you see now about all the different niches, and let me explain this to you, and you think, actually, good grief, you know, you're only confusing yourselves a lot of the time. I think, look, Kay, thank you very much. We're going to have to leave it there, but that's Kay Harris there, who is the co-founder of the LGB Alliance. I think saying what, frankly, a lot of people are actually thinking. So there we go.